So on February 7th, two years ago, I moved all the way across the country. So originally I'm from the Midwest. I moved 32 hours out to San Francisco, California. And based off the title of the video, I made a commitment to myself. This is when I said, I'm gonna work every single day for 60 days, see what happens. And in this time, you need to know the reason why I moved. So I made the transition from dropping out of school, working in a factory, to getting a high ticket sales gig. And it was in the door-to-door -door industry, right? So every single day, I worked for 60 days. And here's what happened. So when I first got out there, I moved out. I didn't really know anyone. I knew of people, but I didn't necessarily know them. So I was living in this house full of guys. You know, there was Lamborghinis, BMWs, um, Teslas, Porsche, all these cars here. And honestly, I was inspired because, you know, I, I was broke. I didn't have money. I had no idea it was possible. So I started working with these guys and I picked up on their habits, right? I would watch what they would do. I would observe them. And I noticed a lot of these guys would start work around 10, 11, wrap up around five or six. And I quickly found out what my advantage was. My advantage was I didn't have anything. I didn't have a team I had to manage. I didn't have projects, customers, clients I had to deal with. It was just me. And my greatest edge was I could just outwork people. I didn't have to be the best. I could just outwork them. And I realized that quickly. So instead of starting work at 11, I would leave the house before 10. I would, you know, most days I'd be out of the house by nine. I wouldn't come home till seven. And I started to pick up on this. And when you first start in high ticket sales, more often than not, you start as an appointment setter. So I would just go out and I would pound sand. Just knock as many doors as I could. Getting rejected, going to the door slammed, all that fun stuff. And when I would come home, that's when work would really start for me because I realized if I just do what everyone else does, I'm going to get the same results. So I had to change something, right? So when everyone else got home, it was kind of like downtime. They'd watch the games, you know, kind of mess around. And then this is when I would get ahead. I would go in my room. Well, I actually, I didn't have a room. I had, I had like an air mattress um, for the first couple of days. So I would just go in my little domain and I would listen. I'd watch videos. Um, I, at, the, at the time, I had a mentor, which was really cool. So I would just bounce stuff off him. I would write down my pitch, objections, how to handle it. And we would just practice this stuff. Sometimes till you know midnight or 1 a.m. And then wake up at 6 a.m. And for this 60-day period, guys, I was going to bed probably the earliest um, at like midnight. Most nights I didn't sleep. I stayed up. Not by choice. Like I wanted to go to bed. You know, I'd be in bed at midnight, but I couldn't sleep. Because I was just, my mind was racing. I was going through, you know, objections in my head, appointments in my head, closing in my head, playing out situations, all this stuff. And my mind was always racing. And within my first 30 days, a competition started. So it was one of the biggest sales competition we had in the company. And it was a team competition where it was teams of six to seven sales reps. I think there was six teams, maybe seven teams. And we all had to compete against each other. And I'm brand new to the company. Really, no one knows me. I'm one of the last picks, right? So that pissed me off. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm capable of this shit. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm capable. So at this point, I turned it up even more. I didn't really talk to my old friends. I didn't have downtime. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating as much as I should have. I would miss the gym to train. And when I mean train, to, to work on my craft, to sharpen my ax, to study sales. You know, I didn't talk to my girlfriend a ton. I didn't talk to my parents as much as I should have. And this concept of work-life balance was non-existent. You know, the thing for me is balance is important to a lot of freaking people. But it wasn't to me at that time. It was this temporary period of unbalance. 
And within that sales competition, I placed in the top three in terms of production, just amount of total deals closed. And when the time came, you know, the prize, you got to fly out to Florida, they paid for all your stuff, got you a nice hotel, um, brought us out on yachts, put us on the podcast, did all this fun stuff. And I remember in the interview, they asked me, they're like, how much do you have in your pipeline, right? Like how many deals um, do you have yet to be paid? Like how much commission is coming your way from the deals you closed? And at that point, it was $40,000. So within 60 days, you know, I went from making 17 an hour to 20K a month. And that's kind of when it all started to stack up. I remember that feeling when I flew back home afterwards to uh, visit my family. I thought I was the coolest guy in the world, dude. I was walking through the airport. I'm like, dude, I'm a dog, <laughs> you know? And I felt, I felt so cool. And pretty much the result, guys, for working 60 days straight is I made quantum leaps in terms of my skills, my growth, how uncomfortable I was, you know, if what you, I heard this quote today and it was, it's phenomenal. If you're not being challenged, you're not growing. It's the absolute truth. That's where the growth comes from is from challenge, you know, and fortunate enough for me, I got around the right people. You know, I got in a good opportunity. I had a mentor, all this stuff. And that was really the barrier to entry for me was finding that. And then from there, dude, you got to separate yourself. You know, I've said this before, your greatest edge is the ability to bust your ass. That's it, man. You don't, you don't have the skills. You don't have the leverage. You just got to fucking outwork everyone you can. And, you know, whether you agree with balance or you don't, that's up to you. It's your choice. You know, I'm not going to make that for you. But for me, those moments are necessary. When I realize, hey, I, I got a f long way to get to my goals. This time I'm going to catch up on time. This time I'm going to get ahead. I just lock in. You know, I sacrifice stuff. And dude, it sucks, bro. There's a price to pay for it. But what I realized is the people that, you know, really love me understood. You know, like when I talked to my family, my girl, and I told them, they were happy for me. They understood it. They said, you know, this is what he wanted. And he was willing to do whatever it took to get it. Right? Like, I wasn't a dick about it. You know, like, wasn't like that. But I think uh, those periods of that, those unbalanced seasons of life, that's, that's really how you make quantum leaps. And to be quite blunt, I'm in one again right now. You know, with the online space building everything out feels good honestly you know you don't sleep a ton but you have the most energy and it's counterproductive so yeah i don't know i just want to make a quick one for you guys today i've been swamped dude I, you know i've had to run across town driving everywhere meeting up with people um getting some stuff done today set up for this week so I had every excuse in the world not to make this video, to be blunt, but I'm committed to this. You know, I'm willing to do what it takes, I'm willing to put the time in and show up daily. That's what it's all about, bro. You just gotta work on showing up daily and then overload yourself. So on the bright side, good news for you, um, we launched the sales community, which is sweet. So pretty much the whole point of it is to solve the problem that I had when I first started. I didn't know how to get access to good sales opportunities, you know, how to get around these people, business owners that are actually performing, how to find people that wanted the same stuff as me. And if you're looking for a free community, um, I have that as far as first class society goes. If you're serious, that's the whole reason why we created Ivy League sales. It's the whole reason. We made it $20 a month, so it's noise control. So, you know, not everyone and their brothers getting in. Um, people who just, just kind of talk about it. They're not actually about that life. It's to weed them out. You know, at $20 a month, it, it, 
I'm gonna level, it's, it's not gonna make me rich. But the whole point is we can solve the issue of getting reps and good opportunities just from people I've met, you know, access to my network. And people are charging way too much for that, bro. You know, people are charging a few thousand dollars for that. And personally, it's, you know, you're charging a few thousand dollars to people. I don't know. It, it pisses me off. So that's, that's a rant for another day. That's why I made it is 20 bucks a month. So pretty much anyone in the entire world who's actually serious about, you know, getting better at sales, finding opportunities, getting around the right people, training, mindset, live calls, the whole nine, they have access to it. So with that being said, stay focused, stay committed, and I'll see you in the next one.